right? First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honors, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rechah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us the truth. Honors and salutations to the elect and to the men that died doing the work of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, for they shall arise first. To the men, women, and children that believe on the true name of the Father and the Son, which the Father's name is Yahweh, He exists. The Son's name is Yahweh Shah, He is the deliverer. Because he's coming to deliver us out of this captivity that we're in. All right, with the Hebrew Israelites, we come out here week in and week out, prophesy the downfall of America according to the Bible, man. And right now, yo, you in some times. <laughs> times for your ass. Right. <laughs> and we going to hop right into it because you had uh, Russia just recently um, tested a nuclear missile, mm. which is called the uh, Satan. Satan 2, yeah. you know? So if now, now you do you people uh, always start, or oh, they got nuclear weapons, but they wasn't going to use them, you know? Now you see it, and it's on the world, like a, a world scale, everybody's talking about nuclear warfare. They ready, they on go, man. Why? Because that's Bible prophecy, what we've been telling you about since the beginning, man. You know, since we've been coming out here, man. <laughs> Yo, wow. Lay that. Yo, and that's going to be the condition of America, man. Dude just fell over there and bust his ass. I look like a woman, you know? But <laughs> that's it. That, and yo, ba yo, that's Babylon falling right there. You know? Because Babylon is actually falling, which people didn't understand. You know? And why did you think that, that these people have these, uh, these weapons, man? You know? For one, it's the use. That's the reason why you go get some, and it's for protection, you know? But you got people that just don't believe, like, people is that retarded, man. Oh, they'll never do this. This will never happen. But now you're starting to see it happen. So you still going to continue to keep saying the same thing? You still want to keep continuing to be blind to the fact that you're living in Bible prophecy, man? Mm. You know? It's playing out right in front of you, and guess what? We're going to prove it to you. Yeah, Isaiah 54, in verse 17, yeah. verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coal in the fire. Oh, <laughs> I got you, I got you. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. So now if you now it said, Behold, I created the smith that bloweth the coal in the fire. Now you have back in the uh the ancient times when they was making weapons. They put them in the fire, they had to put them on coal, they blew them, the, the column down, and they were called smiths, metal smiths, right. you know? So they're the same ones that's uh, uh, that's here right now in that same spirit. They're the ones that's creating these weapons on, on, on a large scale, man, mm -hmm. you know, for all these different nations. So the Lord created them, man, and that's what people don't understand. And they go, it's nothing new underneath this sun, man. The Lord keeps everything plain and simple. That's why you go back to the beginning, man. You know, you go back to the beginning to find out what the end is, man. You know? If you don't know the beginning, how do you know the end of man? Or what's in between? They what the scripture say, I declare the, uh, the end from the beginning. That's right. That's right. And that's what we out here doing, man. You know, filtering it through the scriptures. Alright? Alright, Isaiah 54 and 16. Right. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Right. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. That's right, an instrument for his work. Alright? What's that instrument? The thermonuclear missiles that everybody's talking about. <laughs> Yo, the thermonuclear missiles that everybody's talking about right now, you know? 
Because a couple years ago, a few years ago, you know, hey, Shalom, Shalom. my guy, my senior son, brother, right right So, yo, a couple, a few years ago, you know, wasn't nobody really talking about nuclear war, man. But we've been warning you about this for the longest time, man. All right? We've been warning you about these things for the longest time. Now you're hearing the whole globe talk about it. Right. Now that's the topic of conversation. Oh, this really could be a reality, man. You know why? Because these people don't believe, man. Right. But let the scriptures say, what if some did not believe? So the, so the, uh, with the unbelief make the faith of the Most High without right. effect. Most High forbid, roughly paraphrasing, right. man. Still gonna happen. That's right. Yeah. Still gonna happen. That's right. Just because you don't believe it don't mean it won't happen. That's right. That's right. Okay. And they say, I have created the wasters to destroy. And yo, who is the wasters? That's talking about Esau, man. Right. Because what they do, they every, everything that they put their hands to, they wasted, man. They wasted the whole earth, man. You know? That's why what, what's, <laughs> you got your wastelands and all that. Where you think them, them names come from, man? Those are key words, like those, that's like key words, man. And if you understand them, you'll get it. But these people think it's all candy line, pizzas and cream, man. You know, strawberries and blueberries out here, man. Yo, the most high is about to attack this place, man. Right. We already started. And we've been out here warning you week in and week out. During the week, doing lessons and all that, man. You got brothers all, all on four corners of the earth doing the same thing right. with the same doctrine, man. So you think the Lord is going to just uh, let, let us keep talking like that, man? This to the point the family of the world is coming. Right. You know? The Most High is done talking to you, man. Proverbs 21 and 1. Right, the king's hand. It's in the hand of the Lord Yahweh. Yo, so why you think Putin is doing what he's doing right now? Because the Most High is controlling him, man. He like, yo, you know what? Putin is top. Set it off. Right. <laughs> Set it off, yeah. nigga. <laughs> you, you know? He ain't slowing down on your brain, man. That's right. That's yeah. right. And yo, and, and, and honestly, that, that's like the start. That's a, 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 um, that's a major move right there. Cause now what you got, America, and they're, and yo, they're bitching because yo, deep down inside, these higher powers are scared, man. They're scared to death because they know what we saying is the truth, and they're scared to make that next move. The Lord has to put the spirit on them for them to make that move, because without Him doing that, they want to keep their kingdom. They know they're at the end of their rulership, man. That was. I got Listen. You. <laughs> <laughs> they said they were scared. No, God, that's right. Ooh, second night. Yeah, come on. God, 16. God, God, God. All right. Uh, Power system on the floor. Yeah, yeah no, no. 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like the brother about to bring out, they, the, uh, these higher ups are really in fear, man. Why you think they, <laughs> when the person is scared, they try to take all types of measures and uh, uh, things like that. They try to uh, co combat things, man. You know? Why you think they got this space for it? It's a lot. Sixteen and eighteen. Yeah. Come. Sixteen and eighteen. Come. All right. Second Ezra, uh, sixteen, verse eighteen. Sixteen and eighteen. Verse eighteen, sixteen and eighteen. The beginning of sorrows. Okay. Start up at. Uh, 18 start up about 17. No, 16. 16. 
Okay, verse 16. Light as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer. God, there you go, man. Returneth not backwards. That's right. All right, even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. And that's going into what? The arrow that we're about to go into since we started off with that. Being as though Russia, they, they, um, they tested that nuclear weapon, all right? So as a as an arrow that's shot, right? Once it's, once it's shot off, it can't return. Let's talk about a missile. Once you shoot off a missile, it's not going back to the asylum that it came out of, man. Right. You know? That means it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Now they're testing them, they're testing them to see if they're, if they're uh, whoever made them, you know, which the Lord gave them that technology and that power, you know, to be able to do those things. Because that, that's, his, that's his righteous indignation, man. You know? So they're testing it off, yo, that this work. I want to see how fast you go, everything, man. You know? So, hey, man, that's, that's what's happening right now. The test. All right. All right. Like as a like as an art, uh, arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer returning right. not backwards. That's right. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Mm -hmm. Shall not return again. That's right. Woe is me. Woe is me. That's right. Who deliver me in those days? That's right. The beginning of sorrows uh -huh. and great mourning. And that's what we're seeing. Yo, this, yo, you literally seeing the beginning of these things, man. Mm -hmm. You know, look over there in China. The people there locked them, man. Right. For that Yakada. That C-19, man. Then you got drones flying over, man. Yo, a dude said, he was like, man, when they was doing the video, he said it reminded them of, 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 of that, uh, show the Squid Games, man. You know? And that, honestly, that's a good series to watch if you can find it in English. Because I know they got it in English and they have it in uh, 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 their, their language, man. You know? But these people are locked down. That's the beginning of their sorrows, man. You know? Everything, yo, all over the globe. Look at Nigeria. But we was just reading. The brother sent the uh, article earlier, the video. Yeah. From Dabu uh, 777. You know? Like, yo, they, they, they're taking phones... From how many? It was 43 million? Seven, seven, 70, 71. Yeah, 71, 71 million. Nigerian. Yeah, 71 man. million Nigerians. Yeah, cut. Had they phone, uh, basically, they set the stage for you to have no choice but to accept the room. That's what they aim for. That's right. They try, now they start to try to put you in a predicament. That's right. To where you feel like you got to submit cut. to this new system, man. That's what they want. They want. They back you in the corner now. You got to get, hey. That, 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 them horns got to keep, you know, coming up, man. That's right. Them horns got to come up. So you really understand that this is the devil. Go ahead, bro. Yep. All right. All right. Verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. That's right. Yo, that's why you're seeing your markets. Like, yo, the shelves is becoming more empty. Man. Diminishing. Yeah, it cut. And yo, this is just the beginning stages, you know, but you got to have all these things happen until the end comes, right? You know, you got to have those things happen. They don't, they don't see the vision. They don't see that horrible vision that's spoken of. That's right. You know, uh, hey, the lights ain't went out yet. God, y'all know. <laughs> hey. They, they have not had any uncomfortability yet, you know? Because a lot of you people, matter of fact, the majority of you people, 99.9% of you people in America is going, man, y'all about to catch hell, man. Rightfully so. Why? Because you disrespect the most high, man. This is a fucking wicked ass kingdom. That's right, man. No, hey, this kingdom is anti hamashiach That's right. Okay? And that's why judgment, great judgment, great. have to be put upon this kingdom, man. The eyes of the Lord is upon this kingdom. Right, that's right. Right? Man, that's you know, that's yeah. The eyes of the Lord, hey, the Lord, hey, you know, the Lord got his eyes on this kingdom that's right. to destroy you. That's right. And like the brother said, right for the soul. That's, that's right. why you starting to see the beginning of the great morning, man. Right, yeah, yeah. The famine is on the rise. It, uh, America, what they did, you know, what, and what are they still doing? Destroying all the crops, man. 
Get mm -hmm. rid of the farming. Hey, uh, what that Bill Gates? Oh, yeah, come. He wanted to say Bill Snake. Nah, you know? yeah, yeah, man. Hey, that's, hey, that's, he, that's what he is. He's over, <laughs> you know, the property industry. Man. Yeah, yeah. And, and they trying to just, hey, they, hey, ultimately, they are trying to back you in the corner, man. And we yeah. standing out here telling you the only way you can escape that is, 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 is what? Psalm 91, that you be in his truth. Okay? The Lord is going to feed his servant, man. But the, but what he's doing is trying to back you in the corner, man, the way you submit yourself to this system, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? But, hey, beginning of sorrows, great mourning, and the beginning of famine, and great death. And guess what? Great death is coming to America, Babylon, the great man. Because yep. it was great and wickedness, it's about to be great with the destruction, too, man. You know? You know. All right? The beginning of wars, look at that. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. And that's what that's the point right there. The powers shall stand in fear. Because yeah. they seen the beginning of these wars. Now you got, yo, everybody, yo, back Ukraine. This is that. When they've been bombing over there in uh Africa, where you have where they've been bombing Israelites for the longest time. Now all of a sudden their people going through it. Oh damn, support them. Right. But a house divided cannot stand, man. Right. You know? So now now they throwing up the flag in America. They throwing up the Ukrainian flag in America. That's an act of war as well. Yeah. Because they like, yo, we can't physically go in there, but yo, we going back you from here. So you think they're not going to be drawn into that, man? You know? You got to be spiritual to what, man? You got to look at things, man. But people so busy paying attention to the wrong things, man. Right. They concerned about their damn self. Exactly. You know? Check it out. I got a swift. This is uh, Surat chapter 23 and 19. It says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not the eyes of Yahweh by Sidney or 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. You know? So the Lord, yo, he, like the brother said, he's watching, man. You know? He got tens and thousands of angels, man. And they're messengers and they're going back and forth to Yahweh. Yo, this person did this, 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 that. It's a, it's a, uh, 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 not complicated. It's a righteous, uh, a righteous uh, way that he moves, man. How he does things. Everything is in order, man. Mm -hmm. That's why when Yahweh saw, Yahweh saw knew the order of the heavens, man. Right. That's why he gave us the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, give us his day our daily bread. You know what I'm saying? What he said? He, when the one part said, um, Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know? That's what he want. He want thou, because right now his, his will is being done in the heavens, but his will is being done right here as well, man. You know? But now the, the, the orderly arrangement from the heavens is going to come right here to, to this earth, man. Right. Which it needs. That's right. Which it needs, man. That's why he's sending them back up for us, man. Lord's willing we be a part of that number. But he sees everything. It's like even the most secret parts. So it's nothing being hid from him, man. You know? Why well, said that the, uh, uh, the dark shall come to the light, man? Because everything you think that you're doing in the darkness is going to come out, man. Just like Esau thought he was hiding with his secret societies. But the whole time he ain't even did that the Lord gave him that, man. You know, there comes a time when everything gets exposed, man. You go to uh, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, man. It's a time and a place for everything. And right now is the time of exposure, man. The Lord is exposing everything. Mm. You know? For you ones that don't believe that the truth is the truth, you're sadly mistaken, man. Second, Ed, Second Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach. That's right. That everyone that may receive the things done in the body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. That's right, man. That's right. Whether it be good or bad, man. So you hey, you're gonna you're gonna get exposed. Huh. It, it, there's nothing new under the sun. That's right. Okay, the Lord, hey, whatever's in the dark is going to come to the light. Right. It's going to get exposed. Huh. Okay? 
And that's on, you know, everybody. That's right. You know? So, hey, he said, let me read, let me run that back. Second Ezra. Uh, I got some. No, no, we got Second Ezra, no. Second Corinthians, 5 and 10. But we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. Right. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Uh, that's crazy, because it said you got to receive everything that's done in your body. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Whether it be good or whether it be bad. Yeah. So everything that you do, you know, um, here, right here in Babylon, or wherever the Lord driven you at, yo, you gonna get judged for that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, um, damn. What's that scripture you said? Oh. 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 Is that eleven? I thought it was eleven. I'm gonna read say that for you. Um. Oh, I got you. Uh, uh, oh, I got you. Uh, that was a beautiful. Yo, you going to, every work you do, you're going to get judged for it, man. Like the brother said, whether it be good or bad. Yo, kind of said, yeah, kind of trying to show the fly. I was in the wrong, you know. Bring it out, yeah, bring it out. Revelation 22 and 12. Huh. Behold, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to, right. to give every man according as he, his work shall be. That's right. And yo, what the, he just read it in, uh, what's that, Second Corinthians? You know? To give every man accordingly to where his work shall be, man. Because no matter what you think, you're always doing some type of works, whether it be good or evil. Huh. It still works. Who are you working for? You know, when you're working for the Habashim Yahushua, or you working for the adversary. Mm -hmm. You know, when you two thirds of our people is working for the adversary. Because they want to be out here, they like everything, you know, that, that this place has to offer, man. You know? But the Lord is going to come back to judge this place. And that's where we at with it, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to hop in 7, that's what 16 started going. Because we started off talking about the, uh, the thermonuclear missiles. Because you had, like I said, you had Russia, I believe it was India, China. All these people are testing their weapons, man. You know? So we going to touch on that. Second Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. That's talking about America, man. Go ahead. Beware your children and be sorry for your destruction is that hand? That's right. Just like, and yo, you just, uh, like it was a fire here in Philadelphia uh, on Allegheny Avenue. You know, uh, uh, three children uh, perished in that fire, man, mm -hmm. along with the father. And yo, guess what? The mother escaped because she jumped out the second story window, you know? So the Lord, he's torturing her because, yo, these women think that the children belong to them, man. The Lord took the father and the children up out of here. Oh, it's confusing, man. But the Lord took the uh the, the father and the children up out of here, man. Why the children belong to the father, man? You know? So he says, be well your children. That's what a lot of you women are about to start doing, be well in your children. Because huh? you're going to find out that they really don't belong to you. Right. And all y'all is is kidnappers, man. Right. You know, you kidnap the children from the father and bring and tell Esau, y'all put this nigga on child support and all that, man. You're part of the problem. That's right. So guess what? You're about to start losing them, man, on a high scale, gruesomely. And the more you got, the more sorrow you're going to be in, man. That's why the scriptures tell you, woe to them that get stuck in those days, man. That's talking about having small children, man. You know? Got Verse 3. Oh, a sword is sent upon you. That's right. And who may turn it back? That's right. <laughs> who may turn it back? That's right, because yo, it, what, once this stuff starts happening, it's not going to stop. And how do you know? Because look, 
What's up, brother? Now, how you know that? The uh, uh, the Lord, man, when he when he bought the C19, people just know y'all still can't wait for it to go back to normal. They went back to sleep. Exactly. They like, oh man, I can't wait. No, I just want to get back out there. And then. Now look what's happening in China, man. They let the people out for a little bit. No, because that 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 sword was sent, man. Yo, these plagues is a part of the sword, man. You know, but the ultimate plagues is them thermonuclear missiles, right. man. What we're speaking of. You know, for you people that can't get it. Right. Right now is the time to stick to prophecy. Because you see it in front of your face. And yo, and we, yo, the Lord's going to give you that one big grand finale with his men speaking and going over things and over and over things before you shut it up, man. Mm. And then you're going to come running, man. Just like the brother was giving a testimony earlier. Brothers that down, down in Atlanta looking for him. Why? Because he was doing something right. And that's going to happen to a lot of dudes. Damn, where that brother at? Because when you, when you live right and treat brothers right, man, according to the scriptures, man, yo, it's a good chance to a man of the Lord, man. The brothers don't understand that, man. But the Lord has taken a lot of things away from a lot of you people that took it for granted, man. Mm. All things. Everything that you took for granted, the Lord is taking it away from you, man. Look at this boy. All right. <laughs> Verse 5. <laughs> Plagues are sent unto you. That's right. And what is he that may drive them away? That's right. May a man drive away an hungry lion in the woods? That's right. And y'all, what y'all do? Y'all, y'all depend on Esau more than the Lord. I'm talking to you Israelites, man. The hell with you other nations, man. Y'all can depend on them, Esau, all you want. Because this word ain't for you. You know? So can a man drive away with the Lord is great? <laughs> All right. Wicked. May any man drive away an hungry lion in the woods, or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when he have when it have begun to burn. Mm. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. That's right. So that yo. So like I said earlier, once the missiles are shot off, they're not coming back to where they came yeah. from, man. They're going to, they're going to, to every uh, coordinate, the coordinates of how they, how they set them up, they're going to strike wherever they, they're coordinated to go, man. Right. You know why? Because the Lord put his spirit inside of them. He put his spirit inside of those men to make them. Yeah. You know, that's why we start off with that in Isaiah. He created the smith that blow up the coals, man. Our Lord is a good That's right. That, mm, matter of fact, let's get that. You want it? Yeah, come on. That fire is coming, man. I'm telling you. You don't gotta believe what we saying, but you gonna see what we saying. And that's according to the Bible, man. You know? All right, Hebrews 12 and 29. Huh. For our power is a consuming fire. That's right. Verse 28, wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. That's right. And that's what that and yo, like I said, they're consuming fire. But how are you gonna get that kingdom that cannot be removed, right? One kingdom has to be destroyed. You know? Mm. Don't no kingdom come about without a war, man. You know, no kingdom at no no kingdom in the history of of uh, 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 this globe has come without fighting, man. 
you know? So a kingdom has to be taken with, with force, man. Yeah. The, the sanction take hey. That's right. You get that. But it has to be taken with force. Why? Because you know not to fuck with them people that took your ass over. You like, damn, though. You know what? They got that. Because you know you can't defeat them. I got to appreciate what you're saying. Second Ezra is 4 and 28. Right. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, huh. for the evil, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. So like this one, let me make sure. But now, nah, but the evil has been sown. So that, the evil has been sown here, but the destruction hasn't happened yet. I got you, verse 29. But that destruction is coming, because look at all the evil and wickedness that you see. Every single day you come out your crib, man. Huh. That shit's starting to get, man, it, it makes you sick to your stomach to see the stuff you gotta endure, man. And hear the conversations that people talk about. Cause they don't be talking about nothing, man. You know, like that song from the locks. You ain't really about shit. <laughs> you know? Go ahead, bro. 29, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down. That's right. And if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, mm -hmm. then cannot it come that is sown with good. That's right. So can't the, so can't our kingdom come in without this kingdom right. going down, man? Right. Because what the the, the uh, we got a damn bubble facade because the wicked is the evil is sown here. Right. But when our kingdom when it comes, it's all good. It's righteous, man. Right. You know, that's that's Yahweh Shah's kingdom, a world without end, man. Right. You know. But when we come in, hey man, we gonna be superpowers, you know, on earth, man. Walking and talking, supercharged, cut. You gonna have your clothes, your everything, man. That's why you're gonna be a uh, like, yo, you're gonna be a major priority, man. Women is gonna want you. All nation, all nation women that look down on you, including our, women, they gonna want you, man. Thirsting for you. They gonna wanna have your baby. It's actually the reverse now. The men that's thirsty. That's right. That's right. Yep. But in, in, in the Lord's kingdom, they gonna be thirsty. Exactly. And yo, what the women do? They be like, oh, he's uh, he's, uh, he's thirsty, nigga. <laughs> but you the one out here half naked. Right. <laughs> in our kingdom, you are gonna be thirsty after us. That's right, man. That's yeah. right. Just like yo, when uh, I think it was uh, an instance when uh, I forgot who it was. They was at the well, and the women was caught. I think it might have been Moses, uh -huh. and the women was lusting over. Him. Oh my God, look at him and he and all that, man. Yo, that's, man, listen, that's going to be here, man. Not here in America. But I'm talking about it's coming to the earth again, man. When we get back in our power. The same way our women, they lost out the east on man. And that's funny as hell, man. Because you can have them niggas. Right. Just really? up, man. You can have them. But when you know, they're going to want to have our children begging for it, man. You know? All right, let me bring it back. Right. 29. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down. That's right. So look, look what's happening right now. Things are being turned upside down. Right. As a matter of fact, I saw a video. Uh, so it was kind of like crazy but the dude was talking about they had made a a machine a time machine or whatever and they could see um you know like the future and and they saw that the truth came out you know what i'm saying and uh uh the, and the destruction of this place and people are like uprising against them man the ones that's in in uh in rulership but the lord allowed them to see that man you know why because that's what's coming that's like yo you had uh nebuchadnezzar when he had that dream, you know? Or was it uh, uh, Cyrus? No, no, yeah, no, nah, nah, it was Darius Warner, but I, I remember when Daniel, Daniel, um, he uh, he prophesied what he saw. And the king was like, yo, if you can interpret this, yeah, I'll give you a gold, that's number two, that's I'll give you a chain of gold and a, uh, 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 and a purple garment. And as soon as Daniel, tree, right? and all the kingdom, Nah, it was he was going to get taken down that night. I think it was Darius, man. If I'm not mistaken, I believe.
believe it might have been Darius, but yo, that same night, Cyrus came and took him over, man. Mm. You know? And took his ass down. Mm. Nah, I think it was Darius. Oh, Darius. Darius. It was Darius, bro. Okay. Come, come. Come, come, come. All right, therefore, Isaiah, I mean, uh, Second Ezra, chapter 4, 29. Huh. If therefore, that which is sown be not turned upside down, huh. and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. That's right, so this place got to be wiped away, man. It got to be taken down. It ain't no lingering another 10 years, man. Because how you know, look, they calling for the MOTB, you know, ASAP. This thing that happened ASAP, we just did a, a, a lesson on that last night. You know, a little sit down on the article. They're calling for this technology ASAP. They already have everything set up, man, in play. You know? And yo, they got the people on board. They're using a whole lot of entertainers, actors, right. you know, uh, 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 people of that nature, man. To try to, oh, oh, this is cool. You know, you can get your hair cut in France, go here and, on the beach and pay for your drink. And all, oh, man, just a bunch of foolishness, man. We can seduce the right. That's right, man. To be a way of the wicked seduce the right. I They're know. trying everything they can to lure you into it, man, to right. make you do it self with them. That's right. That's right. That's the, that's the plan. That's Everybody right. we can get by, you know, at will. Come on. Right. Turn to Jesus. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then guess what? <laughs> hey. <laughs> and then they gonna come with the uh, you know, the, hey, come in Draco style, baby. Yeah, okay, that's right. That's right. You know, that's right. Yeah, that's the point. They come now. to Jesus, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see what happens when you come to heaven, right? You know? Okay. What you want on that? Uh, 16. Yeah, come, come. All right. Verse, uh, second Ezra is 16. Verse, I'm going to start. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to start. Yeah. Verse 8. The mighty Lord sent the flames, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath. Mm. And who is he that may quench it? Now who is he that made Christian? Yo, you can tell he's a wannabe, man. Yeah, he ready for the Yeah, because yeah, like, yo, he just, he come up people. here. Yeah, man, like, come on, man. You ain't out there like them other wicked-ass niggas <laughs> lying in the street doing all that. Yeah, hey, come. That's like we're rehearsing the righteous set. That nigga rehearsing wicked. Because he already wicked, man. You know, but yo, the Lord about to send that fire on his place, man. Quench That's right. Who going to quench it? Like, how, yo, who? What, what's that? What it said? Who shall utterly, who shall stand in front of the Lord and not utterly be beat the powder yeah, by his presence, man? You know? I think it's Matter of fact, grab uh, Isaiah 9, start of verse 5. I'm about to start. Start of but yo, this this the uh this is that war that we're coming into, man. You know? The war to end all wars, man, because once we get into our kingdom, man, ain't gonna be no wars for us, man. Done, cause who gonna want to smoke with Israel? You know? Isaiah 9 and 5. Huh. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. That's right. Huh. And garments rolled in blood. That's right. But this shall be with burning and fuels of fire. That's right. So there ain't going to be none of that sword fighting and all that, man. The Lord is coming to annihilate this huh. place, man. Burn you to that powder. So your, so your flesh can't even be burnt no more, man. And he already showed you that in Sodom and Gomorrah, man. And those cities and the surrounding cities. The elements can't even be broken down no more, man. He broke it down to the molecule you can't burn no more, man. Just imagine that. That's a lot of anger, man. And he created those, he created those elements. So you think he don't know how to break them down? And you got instances of that in uh certain movies, man. When they got uh 
it's, yo, it's, it was a movie with Kevin Hart and all that. And the, uh, uh, the chariots was beaming down, turning people to powder, man. You know? And it was a, 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 a um, supposed to be a comedy movie. Ain't nothing comedy about out here, you know, what the Lord talk about. Man. So since you're trying to make a mockery of it, you're going to get turned into that same dust powder that you that you making a joke of. You know, these devils is wicked, man. Yeah. All right, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, That's right. and his name shall be called Wonderful. That's right. Counselor. That's right. The mighty power. That's right. The everlasting father. That's right. The prince of peace. That's right. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. There it go. You know, and that's going into what? A world without end, man. You know, because look, the government, that's the elect, man. That's talking about the elect of Israel, man. The governing body under the rule of Yahweh Shah, under the rule of King David, man. Matter of fact, bring that out, brother. Because that's what's going to happen after this destruction. You know? We're, we're, uh, these Christians look at that and be like, oh, that's that's the uh, rapture. And, yo, they actually look at it like it's an actual real city. You know, like a Philadelphia coming out the sky. There we go. That city of peace, that's going to be your let coming down the pool, man. But your house side, man. Like now, now everything's going to go back to normal, the way it should be. We got all of our uh, uh, the heathens in subjection again, huh. where they belong. Right. You know, they they are our inheritance, man. Psalms two and eight. Good day. Revelations 21 and 1. I, and I saw a new, a new heaven That's right. and a new earth. So, yo, when he saw the new heaven, he like, damn, this is a heaven right here. You know? Because the the uh, the heaven is what? The condition, man. You're at peace. You're ruling. That's, that's right. you at peace. Everything is in order. You know, you're relaxing. you at rest. That's a new heaven and a new earth. The new earth is, yo, we're going to put it back in subjection to what it's supposed to be. Just like you have a new moon, it's going to be a new cycle. But the cycle that we coming into is never going to end, man. It's going to keep going and going and going. Just like the Energizer Bunny. It keeps going and going and going. That's going to be us, man. You know? And the kingdom, man. Our kingdom, man. Just have a song for it. Revelation 21 and 1. And I and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Now how is that gonna happen? Thermal nuclear. That's right, man. That's the only way it's gonna happen, man. You know, and just seeing it now. Like a lot of brothers is on the MOTP, the destruction, man. The things to come. Because that's what's coming, man. Right. This is your last time of hearing this, man. Before the Lord shuts his men's mouths up, man. Right. So you better take heed, man. You know? It ain't too much longer that the prophet's going to be out here talking. Because you're seeing all the chaos is going around, man. Even in the cities. You know, all over, all over, and they're, and they're creating this chaos, man. Right. You know? And how should I say, when you see these things come to pass, that's right. Then the end shall, hey, that's, that's right. how you know, man. Basically, we have to go. Let's go, right. Hey, it's coming, right. this, the new, that new city coming. That's right, come. Yeah. That's right. Okay? Even Craig, Craig Max, Craig Max said that. New Jerusalem, the city with the gold on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. You say, 
And there were no more C, and that C represented the people. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Represent the people. That's right. You know. All right. Verse, uh, verse two. And our John saw the holy city, so holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven. Because after those, after the, uh, the missiles go up, hey, the, the elect is going in the, in the one third going to be with the Most High. That's right. Yeah. Right. They got to come back in the third. All right. All right. And he said, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepare as a bride adorned for her husband. That's right, y'all. That's day, man. Lord looks at us as women, man. You know, we the bride. We the bride's groom, man. And right now we're preparing. Uh, we're preparing you for the marriage, man. Start with the elect. You know, through Yahweh Shah, man. You know, because He is the mediator to us to get to Yahweh, man. That's why I told you, no man can make it to the Father but through me. And you got a lot of men that don't believe in Him, man. So guess what? You you deny him in front of the whole globe, you're going to get denied in front of the Father. You know? We're going back to uh, talking about these heathens are going to be our possession. Because, right. yo, we were once the heathens' possession. Man. Right. You know? And you can look at that. That's right. Exactly. And you can look at that on, on, on the slavery side, man. You know? They had us in captivity. That's why in Revelations it tell you, he that goes, the, uh, goes in the captivity, he that leadeth in the captivity, captivity shall go in the captivity, man. Yep. You know? But this is uh, Psalms chapter 2, verse 8. It says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, I will, I will declare the decree Yahweh hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day hath I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know? Matter of fact, I'm read that again. Mm. This is Psalm chapter 2, verse 7. It says, I will declare to I slapped it. I will declare the decree of Yahweh have said unto me, Thou art my son this day. <laughs> have I begotten thee? Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So everything belongs to us, man, the Israelites, man. The earth created for our sake. That's right, the Israelite man. All right, start with the elect, man. We saw at the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of their father. That's right. I got to preach So all y'all, all y'all allow here is a possession, man. Mm. So the Israelite man. And for a man to speak like that, you look at him like he's crazy. Right. That's why Yahweh Shah, when he was being tempted, he told him, man, listen, I already own all this, man. What can you give me? Mm. You know? And that's the same spirit we supposed to be in, man. You know? But still, you got to be humble with it. But if you know everything belongs to you, just sit back waiting on it, man. I'm just waiting on my inheritance while I'm teaching y'all. You know? You got it, brother. All right, this is Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. That's right. So that's talking about all, every nation that ever came up against us, man. And yo, there's instances in the scriptures time and time again, man. You know? Matter of fact, yo, what's that, Daniel, uh, what's that, Nine? What's that, Daniel, Nine? Uh, when he talks about, um, that was with the, uh, the prophecy of the week last year. Last year. You know? And it talks about all the different, um, kingdoms, man. All the different kingdoms. And rulerships, man, that ruled over us. Okay, so yo, guess what? Y'all gonna get y'all, hey man. Yeah. Y'all had y'all hey, turn. We had the, we had the bottom. That's we, right. We had the end, we had the uh, last day of the Roman Empire. That's right, come. Yeah. Point to that, 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 uh, that statue, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. With the Lord gonna come and, uh, 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 yeah, right. and break it without, 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 uh, without hands, man. Right, right. You know? Not meet the as a man. That's right, come. And all, uh, so, uh, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 16, therefore, right. all they that devour thee shall be devoured. That's right. And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. That's right. Every one of them shall go into captivity. And that's what these people don't want to hear. 
How you think that you're going to take somebody, a whole nation, and a captive, and that 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 actually is the Lord's people, and there's no repercussions for that? Right. He's walking around here like we ain't worrying about a damn. Huh. Oh, just forgive us. We let y'all free, but we still under your slave. Right? We're still your slave. Right. Hey, hey, what about your children that's eating bread? That's right. You know, eat, eat, eating good off the backs of Israel. That's right, cunt. That's right. Say, that's what you Like a lot of these colleges, man, and all that. They come, of of no, they come from off the back of us. No, they come from off the back of us. You know? They didn't do a damn thing to get bitch. Yep. You know? All right? You say every one of them shall go into captivity. Mm, 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 mm. So they, 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 why you don't never hear about that in church? You don't even hear the word captivity in church. Right, that's right. You know? Because they in captivity. <laughs> <laughs> they like, we're cool. Right. right. <laughs> don't got, worry about it. Got chains on your brain. That's right, that's right. You and know? that's the worst chains I had, man. Yeah. You know? Right. All right, every last one of them should go into captivity, man. So that goes and show you right there that God ain't just all love. That's right, God. God don't love everybody. That's right. Me too. The Lord love his people. He only put he put his own nation in the home. Um, he put the nation he loved in the captivity because right. they were disobedient. God. So how much more damn heathen, man, walking around with a suit and tie, a Greek cable, some shiny, you know, Stacey Adams. That's right. His ass got to go in captivity too. That's right. You know, right. everybody had their chance to rule, but God is dealing, the most high you have about how shot dealing with one people, man. And the rest of the other nations are going to be in servitude to the Israelite man. All right? Starting with our Lord, you have Okay? Mm. Yeah. You're going to be the first one to strike. You got something? God, go ahead. Okay. I got what you're going to throw for. This is uh, Psalm chapter 137. I'm going to start at verse 5. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, How shall we sing a Howard's song in a, in a strange land? If I forgot thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. Mm -hmm. So, yo, the Lord, like the brother said, man, the Lord is only dealing with Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You know, not these other nations. Mm -hmm. You know? He said, If I forgot thee, O Jerusalem, let my, let my right hand forget her cunning, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yo, and what? We're on the right-hand side, man. Cunning, man. So let's get that word in that text, cunning. The right hand side is what, what we know, man. That's where Yahweh Shah sits on the right hand side of the Father. Man. All right. Yeah. or showing skills and achieving one's end by deceit or evasion. Mm -hmm. But see, we're not deceiving, <laughs> you know? But we're going to, we're going to invade him. That's coming because the Lord is coming to invade this place, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And there's no deceit. You mean cat practice. That's, that's right. right. And yo, what's not, what's not, uh, what we got to yo, you got a yike problem. That's being crafty, man. That's exactly. Country. Exactly. That's in our nature. Huh, that's right. That's why Jake out here being all fucking slick now, man. But it says, uh, verse six. It says, if I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. 
if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Rasset, Rasset, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stones. You know, I'm going to read verse 8 again. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us, man. So we're going to be happy in these times, man. Yo, we're happy right now that this place is falling. You know? We're happy right now that this place is falling. Because it means the fall can't fall quick enough, man. Right. right. But we understand that we under these curses. We understand that we have to be patient, man. Because you can't move out of line. Just like when it talks about those missiles when they come, they're not going to break rank. They're not going to break line and try to get in front of the other one. No, they sit in the in a specific order. The way the Lord wants it. But when they come and it hits, man, it's over, man. It's over with. And you're seeing the crumble of your kingdom right now, man. From the highest, from the highest up to the lowest down, man. Mm. This place is through, man. Then you had over there in Jersey today, I believe that this was the first day that they made uh, marijuana legal. So you can go by. Yo, somebody sent me a picture of it. There's a bunch of Edomites out there. A, lot. a whole line of Edomites. Now, why the hell do you think that they're trying to make marijuana legal now? At the end, they keep you niggas calm. Man. Sleep. They want you to... Uh, <laughs> They want you to smoke a whole lot, get hungry, and then you don't got nothing to fucking eat. Maybe you saw them know you follow them. Jacob's quick to follow them. Whatever he whatever he saw doing, you know, that's what Jake wanna do. Yep. You know? That whole MK Ultra shit, man. Yep. You know, he whole slave, old master doing it, so let me go do it. Yep. You know? So that's how he trapped you, man. The wicked fight up against the righteous. Right? That's one that's one way how to trap Jake, man. Put a stick of blood in his face. You know? But hey man, hey, you're gonna fall right into a ditch. That's right. Hey, you're gonna fall right into a ditch, man. Let me, let me get this real quick. Alright, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. With thee I will break in pieces the nation, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. So, look, hey, that's that's going to, hey, like the brother just read his song once, uh, once, one, was it, one, uh, song 137. Like, not anyway, nine, 137 to 7. So, like, all right, he's going to use the nation that oppressed us, right, the nation that put us in the slavery, all the other kingdoms. Everybody had to change the rules. But there's going to come a time where the Israelites are going to be able to dominate these other nations. We're going to be able to, uh, 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 the Lord is going to endow his men with power to be able to lay hands on the other nations by the hands of his people. Starting with Yahweh Shah, man. That's why we stand out here and, 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 and declare the end, like the brother said. Declare the end. It was already written out from the beginning that Yahweh Shah is going to come back and do what? Put the earth back in order. But first you got to take, hey, the earth got to be cleaned up. We got to get the, uh, hey, especially these Edomites, man. We got to get them out of the way. Because they have, the whole, because of them, the foundation for the earth is out of course. That's why he said every last one of them should go into captivity. Okay? They walking around by default. Okay? Because of the Israelites rebellion. So the Lord made the nation to go against them. And the Lord is going to use us to take that nation down. Nah, yeah. back to work. This is uh, Baruch chapter 2, starting at verse 1. It says, Therefore, Yahweh Shemiah hath made good his word, mm -hmm. which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judge Israel. 
and against our kings, and against our princes, and against the men of Israel and Judea, which is Judah, to bring upon us great plagues such as never happened under the whole heaven. Mm. As it came as it came to pass in Jerusalem, according to the things that were written in the in the law of Moses. Man. Mm. So yo, that's Jacob's trouble coming. Man. Yeah, man, that was bad back then. You know? You had you had terrible families back then. You know, people eating their uh, belts, oh, people yeah. eating their children, eating shit, eating shit, whatever they get their hands on. Uh -huh. They were selling cow's head. It was bad. And the Lord gonna bring them same plagues, better yet, even worse. Okay, pursuing the Jeremiah 30 and 7. He said that time gonna be worse than it will ever, the, the, this time they're coming up, that we're coming up on now, it's gonna be worse than ever before, man. Right. Okay? Right? The devil's coming down with great wrath, okay? The stage is being set right now. But everybody is walking blind. Israel, majority of our people, they don't hey, they don't hey, they have no idea. Right. You got something? Yeah. Verse 3, back in Baruch chapter 2, verse 3. It says that a man should eat the flesh of his own son and the flesh of his own daughter. That's it. That's and that happened. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. That happened during the time of uh, even even in Rome. You know, the besage of uh, Jerusalem, when the Romans came in, okay? They besaged the cities. And what the mother was doing, the mother was eating the children, okay? They was trapped in the gates, okay? And they starved. That's coming to Babylon the Great, man. That's right. That's coming here, man. They are gonna set up checkpoints, huh? Yeah, I know where. Hey, they, they're going to set up checkpoints for where it's going to trap you in, okay? And they're going to check to see if you got that, 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 that juice, all right? And, that's, and, 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 and guess what? They're going to haul you out to these concentration camps where they're going to have setups, man, for you to get the chip, okay? And, and, and listen, you, you think you, hey, man, you ain't going to need The same thing is going to happen, but it's going to be worse. They're not going to feed you in the kingdom. That's right. Okay? And the Lord always judged with the same thing. Famine, war, pestilence, sword. And that's what's coming to Babylon, the great, a big-ass sword. And the Most High is about to get ready to swing it, man. He about to get ready to swing it. That's right. Guess what? We getting out. We trying. This is our way of getting out the way, man. Getting on the good side of the Heavenly Father so we won't, we won't, you know, get that same judgment. That's right. Okay? The Lord is about to put a, uh, sweep a big-ass broom, man. He's about to swing a big-ass sword, man. Right. And a lot of people are going to be taking their great numbers. That's right. Okay? A lot of people are going to drop their great numbers, man. Right. Because what, what Proverbs say? I have called and you have not answered, man. Mm -hmm. All right? But you mocked. You laughed. You went on day to day. You, you went on throughout your day, right? To 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 uh to do whatever you're doing, man. Ain't nothing out here that 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 serious. What's out here more important than being a living in a in a in a in a in a, in a, uh, a fashionable way, man? In a glorious way. Okay, these skies are gonna light up, man. Literally. But before all that happened, man, there's gonna be terrible plagues that hit Babylon the Great, man. Terrible, hey, man! I get up some days and, and, and uh, I tremble, man. Lord, please have mercy on me. Baba Kasha, you know, because these people don't see it, man. Look at the spirit that's out here. <laughs> Look at the spirit out here, man. You got women. <laughs> if they, if, how do you know? Look at the spirit. If they knew better, why would they be dressed the way they dress? And, and, they got 911. They got 911. Hey, so a lot of these purge movies that you watch, they ain't lying to you. That stuff is actually gonna happen. You know, a, a woman that has sense, you be like, damn man, shit, look at the look how animated this movie is. Look at all this blood shit. They dress like the female that's in that movie. So you don't think they're gonna come to Babylon the Great? That's what Jeremiah 37 said, this time the time gonna be worse than the earth ever seen. Then you got uh, 
like them horror movies, man. Yeah. It was always a woman, man, doing some shit, and then they get knocked off, man. Yeah. You know? That's going to actually happen, man. Yeah. You got it. But uh, back in our uh, Baruch chapter 2, and uh, I'm going to start verse 3 again. It says that a man should eat the flesh of his own son and the flesh of his own daughter. Moreover, he hath delivered them to be in subjection to all the kingdoms that are round about us, to be as a reproach and desolation among all the people round about Round about where Yahabash and Yahushua had scattered them. Exactly. Thus we were cast down and not exalted because we have sinned against the Yahabash and Yahushua, our power, and have not been obedient unto his voice. And the, and the majority of our people are disobedient and they don't want to come out of the wickedness. All right. All right. So just like famine took place back then, it's going to take place again. It's right. proven. That after a certain amount of days, maybe like what, 10 to, 10 to 18 days or something like that, roughly around that area, people start result to cannibalism. Okay? People start considering eating. And you're not going to consider it, you're going to do it. Right. That's right. You're going to hey, you're gonna start looking at people as people, as food. Hell, you already consuming it. McDonald's. McDonald's and a lot of more restaurants. Wow. And a lot of you people, hey man, that's gonna be a horrible judgment because you don't even have that discipline to to stop eating for a certain period of time. Let, you don't even allow your body to heal. That's right. So that's a that's a perfect judgment that the heavenly father put together, man. That's right. Yeah. It says uh matter of fact, I'm gonna hop in uh second Ezra chapter fifteen. I'm gonna start at verse forty three. It says, and they shall go steadfastly into Babylon and make her afraid. They shall come to they shall come to her and besiege her. Mm. The star and all and all wrath shall they pour out up, upon her. Then shall the dust and the smoke go up unto the heaven. And all they that be Salakia, and all they that be about her shall bewail her. So yo, that's coming into the destruction. Definitely. You know? Talk about the missiles when we first start off with. You know? Going, yo, when when the, when they see the missiles, they gonna get scared. Yeah. Yeah. They gonna be terrified. Yeah. Why? Cause they know it's over. They gonna think about everything wicked shit they did in their life, man. The scriptures say that they're gonna prevail as a woman that prevails. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. 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 <laughs> That's like a woman that, that that that's having a baby, man. And you hear how they screaming and hollering and all that. What's up, brother? What's up, you doing? I'm stopping here now and then y'all come out and that damn thing. You ever see the things, man, that I be trying to get, like, knowledge from? You see what I'm saying? Because the, the things y'all explain is that a lot of us are knocked off. So as a result of being knocked off from our behavior, that's what it should be here. You see what I'm saying? The job be expensive. The thing is, you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? Where you gonna get there? We're doing it. <laughs> right now we on this. What we got you, brother? Yeah. Uh, back in the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 15, and verse uh, what was it? 40, 45. It says, And they that remain under her shall do service unto them that have put her in fear. Who her? Babylon. Oh, Rebelon. Okay, go ahead. Rebelon, that's America. I want to be a brother. Listen, brother, we got you. All right. It says, uh, and thou, Asia, thou art partaker of the of the hope of Babylon, and art the glory of her person. Woe be unto thee, unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in hoarder that they might please the glory of thy lovers which, which have always desired to commit order with them. So that, you know, the whoredom is talking about the philosophy. They also do this called What, what, what? Wow, I was able to weaken us? Yeah, weaken us down and not, not understand where we should be yet. 
Because we turn our back on it. But I got you, bro. Matter of fact, you are. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you're asking how uh, how we got into this to, to this uh, point that we at. The best way and how we gonna, we should be able to get back to us. What behavior we have to do that. That's what we just was reading. Um, And then right, you guys said we own the, the blood and the bread. We are your enemy. Admit uh -huh. that shit out there. I'm going to get spent back again. I'm going to go weak too. Right, we got you, bro. We got you. Yeah. Yeah. And you want to know how, how we got to where we at and how we going to get back? Give us respect. What's the yeah. minute to get back? Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, you know what? Since that's yeah. better than what they All we going to get back then? Yeah. Well, first of all, listen, this is going to do the round before. Now therefore, hearken, O Israel, unto the statute and unto the judgment which I could, which I teach you for to do them that ye may live. Right. So okay. if you listen to the words, because the words that we teach you was life. Right. Anything else, like our people walking around, we can go into uh, Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. You know what's going to happen with us before we even get there yet? What you mean? Some things that the behave that we have that we give them we shouldn't have, that we don't behave, we behave the way we behave because of what? Why we behave? Rebellion. Yeah. You rebellion. Listen, for number one, you gotta understand first. You gotta understand what happened. First of all, right. repentance is given to our nation, the people, and our nation only. So you should hey the repentance first by hope. Well, you gotta know the names of the Lord. You know the name of the Lord? Right. The name of the Lord is what? Yahweh. The son name is Yahweh Shah. Right? So you gotta learn that our nation the reason we're in this position because of what? Rebellion. We rebelled against the most high. So when you go to Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, you want to grab it. The most, the most high curtain. Say that again. That's what I'm getting ready to show you. It's a lot of things that happened to us, and the Lord left you without knowledge. In the land where he sent you to. But you, but you gotta repent. You gotta repent. Yes, sir. We got the Lord. No, he said something direct. I'm gonna ask him about. He said the Lord left us without the knowledge. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They oh, had knowledge. Why was that deep in his knowledge? Because we've been given you this is knowledge. This is life. This is wisdom. But we this do now to change us. Why we accept it? I'm going to tell you that too. Check it out. Verse, we uh, verse 30. We got verse 30, brother. It says, they were none of my counsel. Right. They despised all my wisdom. Okay. That's your counsel. 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 The telling has the question we're trying to get to it. The common will not have come well to tell me the truth, right? This is check this out. Verse 31. It says, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Right? So our people was filled with their own philosophy. They own, say that again. Can y'all make them to me? Why y'all come, come with that now? I don't y'all come up there now. I'm gonna finish, brother. Well, just, I'm gonna get there, man. I'm gonna trip that motherfucker. No, no, no. We got you, bro. We got you. Right. So the Lord set up counsel, right? To counsel you with this. So just like we had to learn from our elders, mm -hmm. the elders was GM, GMS. Right. We learned from them, and we ate this road. We ate the road, we come out, and we teach it. So that's why we out here to tell our people, give me Isaiah 58 and 1 real quick. Isaiah, Isaiah, it's Psalms 58 and 1, I believe. Psalms 58 See, I will, Yeah, Psalms 58 and 1. So I got you, brother. I got you, I got you. But what you got to understand is we have to come back for the ones who can hear this gospel. You have to come back to the most high and repent means to be sorrowful, to turn away from wicked, stop smoking weed. I mean, stop smoking dope. Would you ever stop eating any more? Area than you, then yeah, you yeah, that, that, yeah. yeah that's of course. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Why but guess what? Strong, but guess right. what? The God of Israel is a living power. He can he can turn you away from that with the oh, power. Well, we turned power. away then. Well, you gotta listen first. You gotta no, listen you, to what he yeah. got to say. You gotta you listen. Know, to what? Let me finish this. Go ahead. And then I, I'm not bad at you. I do. No, I hear you. No, this is uh, Proverbs. Going back, Proverbs one and thirty-two. It says, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear, from fear of evil. See that? It will be quiet from fear of evil. Because right. there's a lot of evil getting ready to come to this place. Yeah, just and get, and get, get, get um, first Peter 4 and 17 real quick. He was having a nap. Say that again. He do, was do, you understand? do you see the death rate? I'm a victim of it. Do you see the death rates of our mm. people? You see how, how much we die? I'm a victim of it. I'm doing it. I'm admitting it. I'm getting high. I'm, 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 I'm I want to change my mind. I join the prison. I see you see your brother. And then drop it. You confess it is so. I'll get on the same level. I'm gonna do that level. I would stop. Well, the, Lord, the Lord, the Lord got to do that. They to have to. The Lord, the Lord has to do it. Right. We, we, we got to show him that what he wanted. Exactly. But well, we can't, we can't uh, save ourselves, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Because we come out here and teach the world. We're still in the same world as you, bro. Right. Because we, we in hopes. We be hoping the of hope. that yeah. the Lord come and deliver us. Because all of our righteousness come out of all that such a filthy rag. The Lord has to be the one that delivers, right? Because it's a certain amount of people that's chosen, right? And though you're going to have people like you could come in at the last minute and believe, right? Because you seem like a man that would, like, you really want to understand. You know what I'm saying? But see, now, but check it out. The Lord knows your heart. You look at the inward part of you, right? But you have to, you have to give effort. What effort do I want to give? The first step is standing right here listening, listening to the word. Hey, the scripture say when you come into the house of Most High, be more ready to hear. This the say the the preaching of this word is able to save your soul. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta, you gotta listen to the word. You gotta listen to what you're saying. It might be able to look to listen. And like we said, we well, listen. Listen, we ain't no better than you. But we we hope for mercy just like you. But guess what? We hearken to the word. This is this is showing the Lord that we really want to be. We really want mercy. You know. It's the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse seventeen. It says, "For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High." And who is the house of the Most High? The Israelites, the people that are on this side. The Lord is judging His house first because they are stiff-necked people. 
They don't want to hear the law of the Lord. They don't want to turn away from their wickedness. They're still successful when they want to go back. Say what? They're still successful and they try to get in. What did he say? There you go. They're still successful in the area where they're trying to go in. That's but, right. Okay. So, 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 so if, they, if they put people down like us like that, how are they being successful at it? Wait, because that's that's a part of the most high judgment. I'm sorry, but ain't trying to be smart. Nah, nah, you good, brother. You good. So that's right. You good. Bro. That's all I want. I'm coming sometimes. You, said, uh, you, saying, you saying they're successful? Well, so how they get how, how they get successful when it's like they should be born like How they be successful? They don't give them shit. They get them down. They can be able to go on top of everybody. Uh -huh. What give them so much strength to get where they want to go at? Even they shouldn't be there. Come on, the so-called white man. The people that just got us. Because the Lord allowed that to happen. Why, Lord, why, if it was wrong, why he allowed it to happen? See, you, you could, because our nation are not looking at themselves. They're not looking at what they did. We're at. not looking at what we did. The majority of our people are not repenting. They're not coming back. Why they can't see it? Say that again? Why is they not seeing it? Most I don't want them to see it. This is, this is not for everybody to see. Why, if you can see it, uh, it's because the Lord is calling you back. How y'all get away from the uh, uh, little thing? Yo, grab, grab uh, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Come Come. Up Hosea 4, verse 6. Come. I'm about to explain something to you, brother. Right Hosea 4 and 6. My people, are, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. It says that. I, I would also reject thee. See that, so since you reject knowledge, you reject the book. You reject the truth. Wow. That's real. Because at one point in time, we were. I'm telling you, my behavior to my own way. Yes. I do want it. Exactly. This should be behavior. It. But yo, the Lord, grab Isaiah 5 and 13, by what we're saying. We brought you here. The Lord. <laughs> The Lord brought us in. He said, man's glory is the Lord. I there for uh, five, uh, five uh, Isaiah 5 and 13. Therefore, my people are going into captivity. What are you talking about? Now you said, why are the people that's over us, over us? Therefore, my people are going into captivity, slavery, because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. I know that people have been in this game. Right. So now you got it. No, I'm not going, so bro. I, no, you said so, you said the man ain't handling no thing. Get, they ain't got it now. Get yourself out of what happened to y'all. You ain't got the now to play. Because you don't see that you want the now to get out of it. Look, so, we, put, we put people over top of this. Right? That's not knowledge. You go and right. vote for you go and vote for your president. But it's in the scriptures where you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to vote as a matter of fact, you have it so you're not supposed to vote another man over there. Like, not your brother. Well, I'm saying, why are we, we we that deep we gonna put people over us? Yo, you, you, that you weak? really think about it, when you really go into the history, like uh and, and to the judges and everything, we wanted kings to be over us. Yeah. Now the other nations had kings. We didn't have kings, we had judges. So the Lord was like, yo, I gave you judgment. Now, since you want to be like these other nations, I'm going to give you a king. I'm going to give you a king who's going to take the best from you. And you had wicked kings, you had righteous kings. You know? You're right. You got 17. Yeah. But I got something. I know I can't get the 17 best from you. But I got something. Deuteronomy 18 and 18, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brothers. Right. Like unto thee. And I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I have commanded. Okay. What was the command? From another book. And y'all, everything that, that every every time you had a prophet that came, all they did was speak the laws that's the command to the Lord and told us to turn back to him and repent. Our people ain't want to repent, they went off. They started serving other gods. So being as though you went and did that, it's a it's a it's a uh, it's a consequence. I got that scripture. We run to 17 and 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him a king over thee, whom the Lord thy power shall choose, one from among thy brethren. Shall you set a king over thee? Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. That you're not supposed to set a stranger over thee, which is not your brother. 
And them strangers is them damn crackers that's running society uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. Look what they doing. Everybody wanted Joe Biden, Camilla Harris. Right. That's not your brother. Yeah. Yo, every, every president. We ain't giving to him. It's too much knowledge of what y'all saying. Yeah, but that's what we out here doing. Why are we so, no, all y'all do, we, we, why are we everybody else doing? Because we, 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 it ain't for everybody. It's for I, a selective few people, man. So I speak for me too because they ain't there yet? No, they ain't saying say that. We don't know. You standing well, here, you your standing time. here, you standing here listening, right? That's where it starts at. You asking questions, that's where it starts at. You seeking. A what lot of people don't you, see. Buddy? What behavior are we giving y'all? A person that wants to learn. That's what I see. But if you didn't, you would be saying a whole bunch of other stuff. And I'd be gone getting some drugs. <laughs> I ain't gonna fake it. Hey man, you telling the truth, man. Hey, I'm gonna lie, y'all gonna kill that guy. I'm telling the truth, bro. Right. You know? But yo, we set people over us, you know? But yo, this this one thing you're supposed to do. When you return to him, we can give you the name and all that, right? This Baruch, uh, chapter four and 28. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse 27. It's the book of Baruch chapter four, verse 27. It says, be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto God, the Most High, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So what you talk about now, being high and all this, getting high, the Lord brought that upon you, bro. I believe it. You know why? Because that's where they were getting. Mm -hmm. They said, we own the, the one and the friend. They said, we are y'all. They're in it. And they're telling you that. Those are ones. Shit. Those are ones that made crack. You know what I'm saying? Dope, all that stuff. Those are the ones that brought, that brought this stuff okay. in, brother. Okay, uh, if all the stuff they made, I'm gonna walk away, I gotta run with it. If that, that's all the stuff they made, right? Why is I'm so weak and it's still attempting to stuff that I'm gonna tell you why. Made. Now listen, why? Now, Check it out. It. This is how, I'm gonna read that again. Baruch chapter four, verse so 27. Tell me after that, I'm get stronger than you. Okay, I'm gonna show you, it's gonna tell you. It says, be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto God, the Most High, Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh's side. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. See, your mind was the one that... Your mind. See, see, your mind your, your, was your to mind to go astray. See, what, 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 so we like that? What's that? Bro, hey man, the Lord put that spirit on you. He's the only one that can read you the from you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why allowed it to still happen to me, though? It's us. Because he has to bring you out of it. It's everything. We got listen, to he's, a man, he's, a, he's a man that he cannot lie. So if you, if you go into Deuteronomy 28 chapter, they give you, matter of fact. Behave with your oh, no, I got you, bro. The scripture says he make alive, he wound, he kill, he bring up, he bring it down. He bring to his grave, so the Lord controls all conditions. Right. Y'all know where I'm at right now. Ain't gonna lie. What, what do you think I should do? I think I'll get stronger. I think you get stronger? Yeah, but running y'all, right? I'm about to get some new drugs. What you just said? Running y'all, about to get some crack. Just, you gotta come out here and listen, man. You That's why I to, do it. You gotta pray to the most high that he'll deliver you from it. First of all, you gotta have the name to pray to. You what gotta you pray. Mean? You gotta pray to the Most High that He'll deliver you. You said the name. Yeah, the name. The power. The power. The power. The Son's name is Yahweh. The power. The power. The power. The power. The You know what? You keep it plain and simple. That's what you start with. Go talk to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You don't got no no Hebrew nothing. Talk to Yahweh. You say Yahweh. Yahweh Shai, and you pour your heart out to him. And you do that, you do that on your own time with your own personal problem. You don't do it in front of nobody else. You know? And, and here, you, know, you pray to him, you talk to him, he'll answer you. He'll answer you. He'll definitely answer you. Because y'all there. Yahweh Shai. Hey, I'm going to put out here, buddy. Y'all need anything? You got some soda or something? Oh, man, I'm good. Oh, man, I appreciate you. You're sure? I'll tell you what, then. Y'all want that on the soda or something like that? I'm going to put my own stuff that I see you get. Y'all better take some soda so you don't get some soda or something. I took a water, brother. No. Let's see chips or something. No, I'm going to eat money for it.
Hey man, you don't never know. And that's that's uh, this a brother. Yo, matter of fact, uh, can you grab a charity a couple of months ago? Mm -hmm. Yo, now watch this. You know what you're doing, brother? Showing charity, right? Watch this, brother. Now watch this. You about to do this? Cause that's that's a that's a generous. Oh, you go, yo, 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 Mm. It said fervent, fervent charity amongst the sons. Right? Uh -huh. That's right. There you go, uh -huh. brother. Watch. Watch this. The charity shall cover the multitude of sin. There you go. Charity covers the multitude of sin. Like, but don't keep fucking up. I mean, you always going to mess up. Yeah, don't get me wrong. But, but, but Jerry going to knock me out of the head. Okay. I love y'all, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. Hope it's enough for you. Nah, you hey, brother. Hey, right. brother. Hey, brother. Good? Yeah. yeah, man. Thank hey, you. Thanks a lot, man. That's all now. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you got a beautiful spirit. Yo, Carl, man. Yeah, I'm going to set up a prayer for him. I hope the Lord delivers. Oh, Matter of fact, uh, we're going to, I'm going to go into Deuteronomy. Just because of what he was asking. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. It says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken, shall not, if thou shalt hearken, Diligently unto the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahushad, our power to observe and do and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that Yahweh Bashim Yahushad, our power, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to bring out to him, man. Because yeah. he wondered, he like, yo, why are we this? Why are we right. that? Because I, like, yo, you, you hated knowledge for one. But if you hearken into his voice to do his statutes and commandments, he's going to put you on high above all nations on the earth. You know? And yo, it starts right now. You know? Right now, the curses is actually being reversed, but under the curses now. But you got to, like, when you go into um, the uh, the dry bones and all that, when when uh, Abba Bivens came on the scene, he started turning up the, the, the heart of the father back to the children. You know? And the, and the heart of the children back to the father. We started what in like 19, 1930 something I believe, around that time. But that's when, you know, Abba Bibbon was just out there on the scene, man. You know? And like that man, he he he's still a job bone, but the Lord is uh putting the uh building him back up, you can see. Yeah, mercy you know, on him, yeah, exactly, that's right, man. So the Lord can have mercy on that man, because he actually he he wants to he wants to get it. Cunt, that's right. You know? Israel in a sad state. Done, that's right, man. You fucked up out here. Yeah, he fucked up. No? That's right. Hey, he don't know that it's going to, you ain't going to always be like that. Done, that's right. The whole nation of Israel is going to be saved. Done. You know, fact. Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Okay, he's already written that, you know, that the whole nation of Israel is the Lord's elect. So eventually, when that kingdom is ushered in, the whole nation of Israel is going to be perfect. It ain't going to be right. You know? Right. Ezekiel 37 and 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh and sat me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. That's right, and you know, that valley represents America, man. Why? Because America is what? Low in morals, low in values, low in everything, man. You know? And that's why he's wondering, like, damn, man, why? Why, why I'm like this? Why I'm like that? Because he's a part of that process of the dry bones, man. You know? So the girl, when Ezekiel, he saw, like, he actually saw bones, man. When the Lord put him around him. Because what? That, the bones represent a dead body, man, a dead person. Because our people was dead. They don't got that life in them. Because the Lord ain't breathing into them. And that's what, yo, and that's what he wants. He wants that breath of life inside of him. So he could, uh, you know, uh, serve the Lord. Huh? 
Which, hey man, that's a that's a righteous uh uh, uh yeah, yeah, that's a righteous way to feel right now. Man. You're supposed to want to serve the Lord, man. And his spirit is groaning, man, crying out to the Lord, man. You know, because if it wasn't, he wouldn't have came over there. You know? His spirit is groaning, like, Lord, yo, why help me? But yo, but it, it's inside of his spirit, like, it's making intercession for his flesh, man. Are you going to answer? Yeah, come. He should have stayed. You got yeah, yeah, yeah. He stayed long enough to get the name, so hey, man, he got that. <laughs> you know? Verse 2. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Yeah, you know what? So that's verse 2, right? Matter of fact, no, go back to uh, one, one. verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh, right. and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Yeah, right there, so now look, how you prove that, you know, the valley is talking about America, we got a couple of uh, precepts. Mm -hmm. Which the first one is, uh, you know, going to uh, Psalm 23rd chapter. And King David already knew, man, mm -hmm. you know? This is, uh, God, yeah, yeah, we gonna go right to it. Uh, this is Psalm chapter 23, verse four. It says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thy staff comfort me, man. So the valley of the shadow of death is talking about right here. Because everything around us is death. Yo, what he's doing right now, I'm about to go get some practice to death. But yo, for, for uh, 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 don't want to call him a crackhead, but that's what they would label him, man. For a man that smokes that stuff, to give you money, out of where he's about to use to go buy himself that, you know, that's saying a lot right there, man. You know, because, yo, they, they all about themselves, man. Like, fuck that, I'm going to go get this, 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 that. You know, but it's all about the spirit of a man. You know? It's all about the spirit of a man. Because he could have came in there like, man, I ain't giving y'all niggas shit. Who y'all niggas think y'all is? Who is y'all niggas? You know? But I uh, go to Deuteronomy. Uh, 28 to 65 and it, uh, and it reads uh, it says and among these nations shalt thou find no ease right? neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest but Yahweh shall give thee shall give thee there a trembling heart and a falling failing of eyes and sorrow of mind and yo, that's what that man was in, man. Right. Trembling of heart, sorrow of mind, man. He don't know. He's like, damn, he really trying to get it, man. And that's how you're going to be in the valley of the shadow of death because you don't know where, where death is going to come from. Right. Like what Pac say, I see death around the corner. <laughs> right. These niggas out here dropping like flies right now, man. Right. Right. You know, so we're in the valley of the shadow of death, and that's why Ezekiel, he, he moved. Like, he seen it. He seen this land, man. Right. This low land right here. What you got it, bro? <coughs> right. <coughs> and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Done, y'all. So, hey man, that's verse two, right? Yeah. Done. So you could go to uh, he caused them to go round past the bottom, right? Right. right. Yo, the Lord delivered us plenty of time. Yo, that's what that man was saying. The Lord, yo, he delivered us a lot of time, man. Yeah. Out of different captivities and all that. Right. Right. You know, but what? We, yo, we went back to doing the same bullshit. Right. So this is Psalms. Uh, We've been over 14 captives. Yeah, come. Dang. <coughs> that's double confusion. <laughs> seven and seven. This is Psalms chapter 106. And uh, verse 43. And it reads, many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him that were that slacky. But they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. You know? So, yo, man, we once was woke, but then, hey, the Lord put us right back to sleep, man. Because why? You provoked the Lord. And yo, if he would have stood, he would have really got everything he was asking for. 
Right. But at least, like I said, at least he got the name of the Lord, man. Yeah, he's coming all over the place. Yeah. But at least he got it. But Jesus is answering his questions that he had. Yeah. You know, the reason, yo, why we like this? Why we like that? Why did this happen? Why did that happen? You know? Matter of fact, you got it, bro. Right. It's First a lot. It's a lot, man. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? Mm. All right. And I answered, oh, Lord, Yahweh, the power, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones. And Satan took them, oh, ye dry bones, to the word of the Lord. No, so check it out. You go to Revelations 11 and 8. It tells you that their body shall uh, lie in the city. That's why I say these bones live again. Why? Because they were dead. He looking like dead. What's up with these bones, man? Right. Can they live? No, they, they can live again, but the Lord has to move that breath into them. You know, going back into Genesis. You know, when the Lord breathed the breath, uh, the breath into Adam. Because right? at that time, yo, all men, they, they, we were all beasts, man. Yeah. Created in the field. But what made put us on top of everything else, because the Lord gave us dominion over all, over all the animals. Yes, you do. Yeah, come. So he breathed that breath in there, and that's, that's what made us be able to the, uh, the, um, uh, 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 label the animals, man. Know how to uh, deal with them, right. you know? And the Lord told us, y'all don't deal with this one, this one, this one. Yo, he was, he was giving you laws, man. Right. Right. That he was giving you commandments, mm -hmm. you know? So he basically, he basically gave us laws, and laws is what? That's life, man. Right. You know? Which that man, he doesn't understand that. You know, a lot of our people out here don't understand that. Because they're lawless people. They want to run around and be like the heathens, which the heathens wasn't given the laws. So whatever happens to them, it happens to them. You know? True. All right. Matter of fact, and yo, when the, you know, you go to what? Ephesians 2 and 1. <laughs> it says it's the spirit that quickens. That's that, that's that, that's that good. Yeah, because that's, that's this, that's this word, man. That's to make these bones move. Because at first, we just walking around here smoking weed, whatever drug yeah. we was doing, having sex with other men's wives, man. You know, just being wicked, man. You know, so the Lord changed that around, man. He breathed that breath and put the flesh back on it. Put the tendons, man. Everything that comes, the muscles on, on, the, on the bones, man. Connected everything together. And that's a body. So now what? The Lord woke up a lot of, like a lot of men, you know, and, and, and brought them together for what? A cause, man. You know? The, the right cause, the right doctrine. And that's all going to what? The elect, man. The wake the, the wake the elect up. That's what this is all about right now, man. We know everybody out here ain't going to get it. They're not going to agree with it. They're not supposed to. We understand that. It's our job to come out here and speak it to you. Whether you hear it or whether you forsake it, man. But at the end of the day, that's going to be on you, man. You know? There ain't going to be no backlash on us. Why? Because we wipe, we washing our hands clean of y'all blood. Everything is free. That's, that's right. Whether you get it or not. And we Let praying. Up. Lick, have you changed it with the rest of the Man, come. That's right, brother. You got it. Verse 5. We ain't even going to go through the whole thing. Gotcha. Thus said the Lord Yahweh the power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into right. you, and you shall live. There you go. So that's what? The law of statutes and commandments. You know, like I said, the Ephesians, I jumped the gun. The Ephesians, you know, you got the, uh, um, Matter of fact, that was five? Yeah. For, uh, Genesis 2 and 7, man. That's how I saw about the breath of life. He breathed that breath into him and caused him to walk, caused him to, oh, shit, what's going on now? You know? He caused you to become, uh, you know, aware of things. Because before, what was our people doing? Just marching around. He saw, you know, but, you know, they, they was, they was, uh, hey, man. Fucked up, man. Right. That be like a heathen. Yeah, cut. Why aren't we like you? We just want to be in the same room as you. Right. I want to get out of the same <laughs> water fountain. Get the fuck out of here, man. Job said he wouldn't even have his dogs <laughs> be around, <laughs> God. Man. Sit at the table with y'all, right. man. Right. 
You know? The Lord, man, he ain't playing no games, man. And the, and the, and the great awakening has already begun, man. You even got other of uh, uh, our people that's in the Islam and all that stuff. They got it some type of insight of something. They serve the wrong God, man. You know? They pray to false idols, but the Lord is going to come and take your idols away from you and destroy you along with them. To show you that he is the ultimate power. The power to be reckoned with. Yahweh. You know? No other name, man. Matter of fact, let's look at this. There's no other name. X four two or Can't end it on that, man. X four two. There's no other name to call on to be liberal, man. None. X four twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other in any other, for there is none other name under heaven. Given among men whereby we must be saved. That's right. No other name under heaven given among men that we shall be saved. And that name, that's the one that breathed the breath of air into us, man. Gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob his name, man. You know? That's a name you're supposed to know. And if you don't know it and you play with it, that's your ass, man. The you know, name of the Lord is a strong tower. That's right, brother. We have run to where to say. That's the song 18 to 2. Right. Proverbs 18 to 2. I'll get it real quick. All right. Say 18 to 10. Proverbs 18 to 2. Oh, my ears. It says uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So only a righteous man is going to call on that name and know the importance of that name, man. Huh. Why you fools call on all these other different names? That's right, yeah, come. No. Jesus is popular. No, come. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha Krishna. <laughs> yeah, Sam, the whole man, that done heard some shit. Then it's true, all these different names they be calling on, man. Right. And why do they try to downplay the name? Because they don't want us to turn back to it. Because what it just said, it said the, the righteous run to it and are safe. Because they know if we believe in it, we're going to be safe, man, from them. Why do you think they put so much emphasis on the name? Oh, don't call on that name. And then they pay dudes off, man. To say wicked things about the name. But at the end of the day, man, the Lord is going to jack y'all asses up, man. Coming with the destruction, you know, everything, man. Babylon is done, man. Mm. You know, it's it's you know it's on its last leg, man. Right. As the scriptures say, Babylon is falling. Right. Habitation for devil. That's right, man. And that's exactly what it is. Abomination of the earth. Man. That's right. You know? Cause other nations to jump. That's right. Everybody. That's right. That's that's what's wrong, man. They're drinking on their Babylon. Yo, and, and, and there is no righteousness in the land. Yeah. Right? There's no righteousness in the land. Yeah. This kingdom can't keep going, though. That's right. You know? The Lord got his eyes on this kingdom. That's right. They slipping and dipping. <laughs> they slipping and tripping. <laughs> right. You know? But with that, man, look at this camera. Is that a fine, man? Hope you got something out of it. So next week, man, we're going to give all praises, honors, and glory. And say, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Ha'ukakwadash. Double honors to the apostle, the elders great millstone, who charge his truth. Honors and citations to the elect, man. Until next week, Shalom, Ba'wah, Ba'ba, 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 Ba'